In 2017, I had to make a big change with Titan. I needed to find somebody that their training program wasn't a big shift to where the horse was trained in my training program. You know, it, it, you know years ago, you kind of had the East Coast way of training horses in the West Coast, you know, and reining. East Coast was traditionally loose rein, head up, nose poked out, you know, kind of stretched out kind of a look, okay? And West Coast traditionally was more of the ramels, bridled up, collected, rounded back, etc. Well, over the years, of course, these two training styles have kind of meshed closer and closer together to where there's not as big a difference in them. But I also had to find a trainer that had the same foundation beliefs as what I do. There's no point me picking a trainer that has a completely different set of training values to me because that would set Titan up for failure, not success. I always tell you, set your horse up for success, not failure. Like Clayton has, uh, has said before, uh, you know, there's a lot of the fundamentals between our two programs are very, very similar. I would say that they're the same. We tweak things uh, left and right just because nobody can ride just like another person and everybody's going to adapt it to their personality and the way they ride. But just the fact that Titan has those foundations, it definitely was a smooth transition. Today, what I'm going to concentrate on working with Titan, it's gonna be the spins. Now, like I said before, Titan knows how to spin pretty well, obviously. Um, the main thing that I'm gonna be worried about, can I take that spin to the show pen? Meaning that I wanna make sure that whatever I do at home, I can take it to the pen. There's two things that are real important when you go show your horse that I feel that determine your overall score quite a bit in the, in the show pen. It's the way the horse starts the spins and the way the horse shuts off. The first couple steps that my horse is going to take when I start my turnaround, it's going to determine how well he's going to turn for all four revolutions. So I spend a lot of time here at home preparing myself to go to show and really concentrate on that start of the turn. We're going to worry about the finish of the turn and if we can shut him off without penalty also. Most of the times when we train him, we're gonna spin either from the walk or from a standstill. When I practice for going and showing, there's no point of practicing at the walk. I'm gonna practice at a standstill because that's what I'm gonna to have to do when I go show. Titan today is a little bit tired. I already loped some circles on him. Sometimes I just jog him and I just go right into the turnarounds. Every day I'm gonna pick a section of that pattern and I'm gonna practice. So there's no point of spending time doing a whole lot of other stuff during that day. We're gonna, once we have our horse trained up and we're gonna concentrate on taking him to the show pen, we're gonna concentrate on a certain part of the pattern at a time. And then when we accomplish that, then we're gonna move on to other things. As I said, I loped just a few circles on him today. It's a hot day, he may be a little bit tired, but that's no excuse to not perform well. We're gonna see what we've got from our horse. Same thing as I told you guys in the past about the circles, we're gonna think about what type of horse do we have in order to prepare ourselves to go show, meaning that Titan is real laid back. As I say, today's a hot day. I wanted to almost get him a little bit tired because I wanna see how he fires up and how he concentrate on me when I go show if he's a little bit tired. Most likely at the show, you've written him for three or four days, he's in a different environment. You probably warmed him up for a good half hour, 45 minutes. We're gonna put him in that situation and see what we've got. If I just came out and jogged him today and went straight into the turnaround, it's probably not gonna be very similar to what I'm gonna be doing when I go show, so the horse may react a little bit different. On the contrary, if I have a horse that's fresh and it's a little bit hotter and likes to jump into the turnaround maybe a little bit too quick at the beginning, that may be my mistake that I'm gonna run into when I go show. So I'm gonna leave that horse pretty fresh because I wanna mimic what's gonna happen in the show pen. So if my horse is a little bit hotter, I might not try to get him tired here at home. I'm gonna leave him fresh so that I'm gonna get him in the worst situation possible and see if he can still perform the way I want him to. But today we're here with Titan, that's what we're gonna concentrate on. As I said, we're gonna concentrate on starting the spin from a standstill. One thing I don't want to do, just like we addressed when we were loping off, is making sure that I don't pick my hand up before the turn. When I go show, I don't want to have to set him up. Hey, think about me. Think about that right turn around, look to the right, and then start turning. That's going to tell my judges my horse is not ready to go show. 
or maybe not ready to go win that horse show. We want to feel confident and we want to be able to show the judges that we're confident. We're going to go into show pen, we're going to leave our hand down and start our turnaround. So that's what we're going to do here at home. I'm going to do it going slow first and I'm going to really find out where that horse is putting his front feet when I start my turnaround. That's going to be my main concern at this point. Without touching his face, I'm going to give him a signal to turn and I want that horse to get to that turnaround on his own. What my signal is, is moving my hand on the neck or using my outside leg. Before I start turning, I open me, my inside leg. Today we're going to start to the right, I'm going to open my right leg. And the reason why I open my right leg is because I want to make a, a different <coughs> cue for the horse so he understands the difference between a turnaround and a rollback. Because my hand moves the same direction in the turn as it is in the rollback, and because I use my outside leg the same way, I figured out in my program that I need to differentiate something there, so that's why I started introducing using my inside leg. So if my horse feels my inside leg opening, it's telling him we're gonna turn to the right and not roll back, he's not gonna jump out of that turn. So we're gonna open the leg first, then we're gonna move our hand. I use both leg and leg when I go show. Here at home, I'm gonna use one or the others. That way, I wanna make sure my horse is solid on both, and then when I go show, I can combine the two of them. I'm gonna start first just with my hand. I'm going to open my right leg, move my hand across. If the horse doesn't move, then I'm going to reach down with my left leg and tap him on, the, on his rib cage. Right leg, hand across the neck. He's a little lazy. Perfect. This is exactly the first mistake that most horses are going to do when you don't prepare them for the turnaround. They're going to walk forward when you, they feel your leg coming. That's important to me because that's one thing that I never want the horse to do when I go show. If he's looking forward when I start that turnaround, I'm gonna have to help him with my hand staying that turnaround. Most likely it's not gonna be pretty. His legs are gonna be stretched out, he's gonna be clumsy, he's not gonna be in the ideal situation. And that's why, if you noticed, I didn't come back with my hand and say, hey, Titan, let's go ahead and start turning right just like he's doing right there. Because right there it would be way too easy. I almost invite him to go forward. I move my, I open my leg, move my hand, there he thought about going forward, and then I say, no, that's not where we're going. Remember where we're supposed to go. I'm not showing him where I'm supposed to go. Clinton's done all that. He knows where he's supposed to go. My job here is to remind him where he's supposed to go. Leg, hand, if you notice this time, he said, okay, that's where we're supposed to go, back there. I'm not helping him with my hand, and then I'm gonna shut him off. I don't do very many turns. I'm working on the start. I'm not working on a long set of spins. The shorter and quicker do you keep it, the sweeter it is for the horse and the easier it is for him to remember what you're working on. That first step is the most important to me. I want that inside leg to go back to the side and back towards his hip. If he steps back, that's going to give a lot of room for that outside leg to step over it and that horse is going to be able to sit on his butt and keep that position throughout all four spins. Let's do it again. I almost invite him, as I say, to go forward. Like when I open my leg, my hand almost goes forward and say, okay, where do you want to go? You want to go forward? Because if you do, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to get you back. Here I'm inviting him to go forward and he's staying back. That's what I want. If you stay back, we're going to quit. If you go forward, 
My hand are gonna come, hands are going to come there and they're going to bring you back where you need to be. If my horse steps forward, if you noticed, I'm not pulling him back and say, no, come back to the turns. That was part of the training. Now I'm just reminding him. I'm just going to tell him he did something wrong. I'm going to bump him in the face and back him up and I'm going to leave it up to him to figure out what he did wrong. I'm not showing him the correct position because he's supposed to know it by now. Let's do the left side. Open the leg, move my hand. This time he went right to it without me having to help him. So this is one cue. Now I'm going to test my other button, which is just the outside leg. I use my outside leg different depending on the situation. If you notice, if you remember that first time we started that right turn, when I first moved my hand, it didn't go. So I tapped him with, the, with my left leg on his left rib cage. That's a, a, a punishment almost because he's not doing something. My cue is going to be a steady pressure. So steady pressure just means go ahead and start turning the opposite direction. If I'm kicking, it's because you, you haven't moved and I'm, I, and I'm telling you that you need to move. So we're going to do the same thing, right turn, but instead of moving my hand this time, I'm going to test my other button with just a steady pressure with my outside leg. Same thing, I open my inside leg first, now I press my outside leg and he's going forward and I'm going to tell him that's not it. So same mistake that he did when I was moving my hand, he did it when I just pressed my leg. Inside hand, leg, outside leg. He's kind of thinking about it, but not quick enough. I want him to take that first step. Still going forward there. I don't give him a chance to make three steps forward. That first step or two, that time was a lot better. I'm not helping him with my hand. Only when, I only move it when I want to shut him off. So these are two buttons that I need to have on my horse in order to go show. For myself, I want to make sure they're solid on both. So when I go show and I move my hand and I press my outside leg, they go right to that spin because they know both of those cues. Let's test that cue going to the left. Open my inside leg, press the outside leg. Seems to be a lot more solid to the left than he is to the right. To the left, I hardly have to do anything. You noticed I'm not really working on the quality of the turn, I'm working on that start. I want that start to be to the side and back. I want 50% thinking side movement, 50% thinking back movement. If we go more than 50%, we're going to have a problem. If he's thinking about moving to the side too much, he's probably going to jump out of a turn if I try to do it too quickly. If he's sucking back more than 50%, I feel I'm going to have a problem with him stepping under. Open the leg, outside leg. That felt real good there. This is the first thing I test on my horse. If I don't have this solid, I don't move forward. Hey mate, I hope you've enjoyed the Titan YouTube series. If you have, make sure you subscribe and follow Andrea as he takes Titan through his show career.